Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter seven, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So before we do get started, I want you guys to pause and just take a picture, write this down, whatever it is that you need to do to make sure that you remember this. When something has some, it's talking about the addition. When it says the difference or how much more than, that subtraction, you're finding the difference. Okay, that subtraction. When it says product, you're multiplying. And when it says quotient, you're dividing. Okay, so write that down top of your page. Do whatever you need to do. Okay, so number two says the sum of x and 9. Well, we use our little cheat sheets and sum is plus. Okay, doesn't want us to solve it. Just wants us to write the expression, okay? Six more than the difference of b and five, okay? So six more than the difference of b and five, okay? Maybe we shouldn't put more than here because it can be used in a different context and mean a different thing. So if it's asking for the difference, that's subtraction, okay? All right, the sum of 15 and the product of 5 and V. So, the sum of 15, the product of 5 and V. Okay, product means multiply, 5 and V, and it's saying 15 more than that. Okay, the difference of 2 and the product of 3 and k. So, difference of 2 and the product of 3 and k. Okay? Product, multiply 3 and k, difference of 2. Okay? All right. You guys are going to try Six through um, six through ten. We'll do eleven together. Okay. All right. The sum of four multiplied by a and five multiplied. By B. So, could I leave it that way? Yes. Okay. However, if I put my parentheses in, it just makes it clear. I could also write 4A and 5B because 4 times A is 4A and 5 times B is 5B. So, either one of those is just fine. Okay. All right, you guys can do 12. Okay, we're going to go down to 13. And it says, let H represent Mark's height in inches. Suzanne is seven inches shorter than Mark. So, Mark is H. Okay. Suzanne is Mark's height minus seven because she's seven inches shorter than Mark. Okay. Okay, write an algebraic expression that represents Suzanne's height in inches. Okay, well, Suzanne equals Mark's height minus seven inches. There you go. Or you can just write H minus seven. Totally fine. Okay, all right. The company rents bicycles for a fee of $10 plus $4 an hour. So, $10. Plus four times however many hours. Write an algebraic expression. That's it, guys. Okay. All right. We're going to go on to the back. You guys are going to do a lesson check, just like always, because you're brilliant. And we're going to do the spiral review together. Okay. So, spiral review says a bottle of cranberry juice contains 32 fluid ounces and costs $2.56. What is the unit rate? So, we need to take that $2.50 and 
divide it by the 32 ounces so that we know how much was in one ounce. Well, there's no decimal out here, which means I can just move my decimal up. That's good. Okay, 32 is not going to go into 2. It's also not going to go into 25, which means I need to do some math. Okay, so I'm going to use my handy dandy calculator not to do the math, but just to multiply 32 so that I get close to 256 because it's not going to go into 25. So I need to, okay, all right. So there's 32. 64, 96, 128, 160, 192, 224, oh, and 256. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times, 8 times 32 was 256, subtract and get 0. So, when we are talking about money, though, we do not put an X in for a placeholder. We put a zero. So, we can write dollar sign 0 0.08, or we can write 8 cents. Oh, but not on that one. Ah. Oh, my goodness, guys. Okay, write your work down, guys, okay? All right, there are 32 peanuts in a bag. Elliot takes 25% of the peanuts from the bag. Zara takes 50% of the remaining peanuts. How many peanuts are left? Okay, well, I know that there's four. If I broke 32 up into four, because there's four times 25 equals 100%, okay? So if I divide 100% by 4, I get 25. Let's divide 32 by 4. So that's going to be 8. Okay. Well, 32 minus 8 is going to be 24. And there, 8, 50% of that. Okay. Minus. 50%. Okay, well, half of 24 is 12, which means that 0, 8, 12. Okay, so now if I have 8 and 12, that's 20, right? Well, 32 minus 20. Okay, I got 20 because I added 8 and 12 to find out how many were gone because it wants to know how many are left. Okay, so then I had to take the 32, which was the original number, and subtract the number that's already gone. Okay, that's 20. Okay, so now I know there are 12 peanuts left okay all right all right hank earns 12 dollars per hour babysitting how much does he earn for 15 hours well let's find out so 15 hours at 12 dollars per hour let's find out okay two times five is ten carry that one two times one is Two plus one is three. And go through and tick, tack, toe, and one times 15 is going to be 15. Add those together. Zero, eight, one. $180, guys. Okay. All right. Write an expression that represents the area of the figure in, this, in square centimeters. Okay. So I would do... Area we know is length times width. Well, length is seven and width is seven. So we're going to have seven times seven. But then we have a two by two square that's missing minus two by two. Okay. Now we could also write seven squared because there's two sevens minus two squared because there's two twos. Okay. 
All right. That's it, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 7.3. Come on back for 7.4 soon.